there, everyone. Whoa. Welcome to the virtual concert hall. Come in, come in. Get your seats. Take your seats. Um, there's a bunch of ushers standing around here, at least in our house there is. Yep, definitely. Um, to show you to your to your places. Um, there's assigned seats at this concert, but they're right. all in the front row. Right. It's an infinite front yes. row. Yeah. and um, so Every seat is a perfect view. Yeah, every seat is a perfect view. Uh, this is an ideal concert situation, and we're really glad that you are here. Um, while everybody is taking their seats, I am going to just do some introductions. I'm, I'm guessing that we have some folks here who are um, not from the Mario's virtual session. Yep. I'm not sure where everybody's from. You can actually chat to us in, uh, in the chat window. Uh, there's already a lively chat going yeah, on. Yeah, we've seen people from Argentina, Texas, North Carolina, uh, where else? Pennsylvania, Colorado, Washington, D.C., everywhere. So, so let us know where you're tuning in from in the, in the chat. Yes, and um, we are in Anchorage, Alaska. Um, I'm not, there, there's probably some people from Anchorage, Washington, probably, actually. Yeah. I'm not sure. We're at the Toon Supply uh, Remote Headquarters. Yes. The, Toon yes. Supply World Headquarters is in New York, but yeah. Toon Supply um, Remote Branch Office is in Anchorage. Right remote now. Branch Office, yes, we have um, exactly one of those yeah. in our international operation. Yes. Um, anyways, so I'm just going to tell you a little bit about what's going on here in case you're new while everybody's getting your seats. And we, of course, encourage you to um, go get a drink uh, from Mary. Mary O is here serving drinks over here. And perhaps you can ask her for a drink from your own fridge uh, or a snack or whatever yeah. you want to do. Eating is allowed at this concert. It's just it's the perfect. You can actually do whatever you want. You can do. You could dance. And you could play along, whatever you want. Anyways, OK, so if you're new here, um, my name is Caitlin Warbelow. My name is Chris Ranny. We are the co-founders of Tune Supply, and I was just thinking today that it is nearly seven months, almost to the day, since we tar yeah. started Tune Supply. Um, in normal times, we play on a Broadway show called Come From Away, which stopped on March 12th. So that's almost seven months ago. We immediately started Tune Supply with the goal of helping traditional musicians to stay working and to help the community stay glued together during the pandemic. We did not expect to be here seven months later. No. How long did you think it was going to Well, last? we thought we would be back to work by this point, certainly. I thought July. Yeah. Actually. And uh, now it's looking like who knows how long until we get back right. to work. So we're really glad that you're here and supporting what is what it what passes as live music these days. Right. Um, musicians, of course, have lost almost all of their and our work during COVID times. And um, we hope that you can um, support the musicians who are playing in this concert today by using this link, which has migrated to the center of our screen. I don't know where to point anymore <laughs> over here. And if you're from the Mario session, this is a different link just so we can keep the accounting yeah. um, separate because all of the money that gets brought in today is distributed amongst our 28 musicians. We thought it was 25, but then we counted. We couldn't count. It's actually yeah. 28 musicians. So uh, please be generous if you're able to um, give whatever you would for a normal concert. That is that is great. And if you can't, if you're also in dire straits, which I know a lot of us are, lot of us. don't worry. We just hope you enjoy the concert today and um Listen to some nice tunes. Yep. Um, what else? I made a list because I wanted to make sure I got everything. Perfect. Um, oh, the website in the store. So Tune Supply does have a website. We're working on getting it fancier at this point. I just did a little bit of a revamp. You can go check it out. There's lots of information over there, including the lineup for this concert. Um, if you go to the performance link, um, the lineup is there, including the, the order that everybody will be going in. Yep. And that is also in the description of this video, um, along with other information. Um, we also have a store, which um, I have to say, like, I'm pretty proud of the store. Yeah. I like the store. Yeah. Um, the we we do sell merchandise, which is not why we got into this. However, what we what we really are passionate about is the fact that the store is a place where you can actually order customized video performances. They're recorded. They're not live. Um, made just for you or for a gift recipient, and and that is the most direct way that you can help us get money into the hands of traditional musicians during the pandemic. So the holidays are coming up. You might want to order a gift performance for your friends or family. They're really cool. Or a t-shirt. I mean, you can order a t-shirt. Yeah. We're going to show you t-shirts <laughs> later. And we are happy to sell you a t-shirt. But yeah. um, the the performances, and there's also learning materials, and there's all sorts of other stuff over on the store. And the store website is uh, store.tune.supply. I'll put it up one more time. Oh, magical. Oh, was it already there? It I didn't was, even yeah. see it. Oh, okay. Start out to the And we'll throw that in the comments once, once we get going here. Okay. So uh, one more thing, and then I promise we will get started with the music. Um, if you're wondering uh, exactly what sort of concert this is, you may recall that we did two three-plus-hour concerts earlier in the year. 
and those were great fun and they were extremely stressful and that is not what's going to happen here we're aiming for around two hours we've got 25 musicians instead of 90. Um, and the cool thing about this concert is that everybody who is playing on the concert has been a uh, guest artist or leader at the Mario's virtual session, which is the, uh, and the other big production that Tune Supply does right now. We've dur done now 43 sessions. 43 sessions, yep. 43 sessions, and usually they are at this time on Thursday nights, but tonight we're having a concert. Part of the reason is because we've been doing what we're calling CTAR sessions, which is common tunes at reasonable speeds, kind of a slower version of a normal session. This is going to be up to speed, and we're calling it a concert. However, if you're perhaps a more advanced player at home, you can still play along because these are all going to be f folks that you know, friends, friends of the session, and I ask them to play mostly common tunes. So you can, you can likely play, still play along if you're one of our uh, session attendees. Um, I told you all that the lineup is in the description and I told you about contributions and yeah. that actually brings me to the end of my initial list here. So hopefully everybody has found their seat. Let's Great. see. Do we, yeah. looks like everybody's Mostly. here, yeah. I think. Okay, good. Um, and one more time, the link for the contributions is up there. We are not going to leave this on the screen during the sets because we don't want to disturb your enjoyment, but please keep that in mind. The goal here is that we're trying to get enough money into that link that we can pay all of our musicians a normal gig wage since gigs are no more. Yep. They're canceled. Gigs are canceled. So um, with good reason, um, we all want to stay safe, but uh, we're also trying to help the community and keep you guys entertained at the same time. So uh, without further ado, this first set of musicians consists of uh, five teams of people. I guess Manus is going first and he's a solo, but the other ones are all yep. duos. And um, I'm not going to say all their names just because I want to get to the music. The, the names are down in the lineup. But without further ado, we are going to start off here with Mr. Manus McGuire over in Ireland. Hi to all you Tune Supply followers out there. I'm Manus McGuire, recording this video from my home in County Clare in the west of Ireland. Later today, I'll be sending it off via Dropbox to Alaska, the wonders of modern technology. So I'll be sending it off to both Caitlin and Chris. And I want to thank them both very much for everything they're doing as regards the Tune Supply series. It's been amazing. So for this mini concert tonight, I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to play a couple of jigs. Uh, the first one is a tune called the Black Rogue. It's an old piping jig. And the second one then is one of the many jigs associated with Paddy Taylor, a flute player from County Limerick who lived most of his life in London. And this is one of the many, many tunes associated with Paddy's playing. It's called Paddy Taylor's Jig. I've been asked to mention to you what I've been doing musically in the last little while. I suppose, like for many people, it's been very, very quiet, even by West of Ireland standards. I've been doing some concerts virtually at the local level, promoting my most recent CD, The Copper Plate Sessions. And I've got some upcoming concerts in both Boston College on the 22nd of October, and then at the end of October, going into November, at the Old Flaherty Retreat, just outside of Dallas, Texas where I'll be doing some teaching and some concerts for the students there. So very much looking forward to that. Uh, but for now, I'll give you these two jigs uh, in this mini concert and thanks for listening and hope you enjoy it. So just again, the two tunes are The Black Rogue and Paddy Taylor's Jig. Thank you. 
Hi everyone, Finn here with the amazing Alan Murray. And we are privileged as always to be asked by our friends at Tune Supply to perform for you in these, what are always amazing virtual concerts. So we're gonna play three reels for you. Oh, I should say we actually recorded an album this year, which is crazy to look back on now because we rushed like crazy to get it done before our April tour, which was of course canceled, like seemingly everything else this year. But hey, we have an album now. So there you go. We're going to share a little bit of the music that we've been working on. So we'll play for you three reels. They are the Skylark, the Clune Reel, and Moylan's Frolics. Ready, Alan? Let's do it. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Neil Perlman and this is Katie McNally on the fiddle and we're so happy to be part of this Tune Supply mini concert. Um, we're going to play uh, a really uh, classic old Scottish air that hopefully many of you know if you're playing along at home. It's called Hector the Hero and um, yeah, we're, uh, we hope you're all managing to keep a lot of music going on in your lives at home while we're all at home playing. Um, we're excited to have just put in, officially put in the order to, um, to get this album that Katie and I recorded with, uh, the third member of Katie's trio, Shanti, um, 
uh, last fall, but finally we're going to get the physical album in. So it's called Now More Than Ever, and if you're interested in hearing it, you can go to katiemcnally.com to order it. So this tune is not on it, so you'll have to enjoy it here. <laughs> care everyone. Well hello and you're all very welcome to Ravensdale in County Louds and uh, I'd like to introduce you to my wife Sheila Boylan. Sheila's from a family of musicians as well and uh, we're going to play a few tunes for you tonight. Uh, we don't get a chance to play many tunes together and as we're married we don't have to socially distance. So we'll have a tune called, start with a tune called Gagans and then we'll play a tune called The Congress Reel and we'll finish a little set of tunes for uh, this little uh, project with the uh, 
Tune Supply, we, we finish off with um, Sweeney's Dream. So thanks for thanks to Tune Supply for uh, inviting us to be part of this wonderful program. So a few reels, Sheila. Okay. Ready. <laughs> the background. Hey Rashi, you don't want to say hello to the camera? No. No, she won't talk. So thanks again and uh, best of luck with the rest of the session tunes and uh, thanks again to Tune Supply for involving us with this. Thank you. Hello there, we're going to do uh, a few tunes here with my good old friend Matt Mancuso. Um, I'm going to do little pipe fiddle duet, three jigs. Uh, first one is called the girl of the big house. Second one is called Chucky to a Wallyloom or I'm Jucka to a Wallyloom. Would you come home with me? And the last one is called Young Tom Ennis. That's right. <laughs>
That's a good way to start us off. Yes, and it's so unusual to hear applause nowadays so that we we have this applause button we can push yep. which is just it's nice needed. Very needed. it is needed it is weird to stop playing and not having any reaction yeah. from anybody i have to say like we've yeah. been on camera now for seven months and i still am not used to it that's why we awkwardly say Woo! Woo! At the end of you gotta cheer for yourself you have to cheer for yourself yeah. in in pandemic ages now um, oh, all right. Wow. Hope you enjoyed that first set. We have, uh, for anybody who's new here, and I and I see that some people are now getting fed into the YouTube stream. Welcome. Um, welcome. I hope you like it. I see that some people don't like it, but that's okay. Yeah. It does. It's not for everyone. It's not math help, but it's good. No, but it's we could help good. you with math yeah. um, virtually if you if you need it. That's totally fine. Yeah. I don't know if she stuck around mm -hmm. the the girl who needed math help. Anyways, um, welcome. We are done with the first set of three sets in the concert. This is not one of our three hour epics. Um, thankfully mm -hmm. for all of us. But we do have two more star studded. Oh, sets. I see what you did there. Star studded there. sets coming up. <laughs> yes. Um, okay, but we've already do I'm gonna talk for a moment because that's what I've gotten really good at in the pandemic Great. is talking. I've cool. gotten worse at violin and better at talking. Yeah. Yep. Um, so uh, you just saw Matt Mancuso and, and Killian there at the end. Now they are both um, regulars at the at the real Mary O's. There is actually a real Mary O's in New York, and that's how this whole thing got started. Is we used to have an in person session for about five years, five or six years. I've lost track. I've lost track actually. Um, that met on Thursday nights, and we have continued that virtually. But Mary is still there in the East Village, and we just want to mention that if you are in New York and you're hungry, because who's not hungry? You should stop by. Her place is at Avenue A and East Third Street, and she is open for dining. And she has built this really cool outdoor dining area that yeah. she sent to the video of recently. And we're going to prepare her a little. Yeah, it's really well done. Thing. Yeah. And I think she's open for very limited indoor dining at this point. Yeah, twenty five percent. I think. I think twenty five percent. Something like capacity. that. And to go order still. Yes. Fair game, yeah? Yes. And the other cool thing that Mary does, which everyone can take advantage of, if you are in the country of America is you can buy scones from Mary. She makes Irish soda bread scones, hand makes them, and uh, we set up a little website for her so you can purchase those scones and have them delivered to your door. Mm -hmm. Even if you're doing quarantine, you can you can yeah. have the scones delivered. So we wanted to show you a picture of those scones. Um, oh, yum. That's what they look like. That looks delicious. So that's the that's the website, and we're going to throw the name, the silly name of the website, which is my fault. It's not very good, but um, up on the screen. And uh, I just want to say the reason we are um, talking about Mary is because you know the the music industry has been decimated for sure, but also the restaurant industry has been pretty decimated, and um, we are forever um, indebted to Mary because she has hosted us for over five years playing tunes in the back of her bar, loudly, lots of us. Mm -hmm. um, annoying her other customers. Annoying her other customers. Um, so we're really grateful to her, and we want to try to help her through this really strange time as yeah. well. So if you're looking for scones, maryos.company.site is the address. Sorry for the address. Um, I have to get that. It fixed. sounds like a scam, but it's not. It's not a scam. It's yeah. scones. That's the, gonna oh, be the take line. Yeah, yeah. It's not a scam. It's scones. Anyways. Okay. Moving along. Um, don't forget to, excuse me, throw a few bucks into the contribution box for the musicians. Everybody is yes. getting a share of all the money that comes into that link tonight. And we're hoping to pay everybody a normal gig wage um, again, since we mm -hmm. don't have any more gigs yeah. because so thanks in advance for anything <laughs> you're able to contribute. Yes, thank you. Even a few bucks makes a big difference, so thank you. Yes, and if you can't, not a problem. We're still glad to have you. Um, okay, Chris and I are going to play a set. We're going to try yeah. only play two sets tonight because um, we feel like um, we're tired of ourselves now because we've been on the internet too much lately. So we're only going to play two sets. Uh, also, but, I forgot yeah. how to play. I did too, actually. Yeah. <laughs> we were practicing our sets, and both of us were like, our fingers don't work. We yeah. used to play a couple hours a day, yeah. and now yeah. we don't, and we're out of practice. So we won't bother you too much. But this set is uh, mostly tunes that are played at the Mario's session. So hopefully you can play along if you are um, a sessioneer out there. We'll start off with the Spotted Dog, which is a tune I actually learned at Mario's okay. from Brendan. Cool. Yeah, I always associate this this tune with him. So, and then we'll go off in other directions from there. Okay. Thank you. 
was fun. We um, we made a little modification of that third tune, which um, I think it's called Humors of Whiskey. Don't actually know. Yeah, I'm not sure. Somebody can tell me if I'm right there. But um, when when I suggested that we play that tune, Chris said, I don't like that <laughs> tune. And I said, well, let's just remove some of the notes. And then it was better. So, yeah, we cut the notes. A5 down by 30, <laughs> 33%. 33%. And it was better. It becomes great. <laughs> Anyways, all right. So let's move along to... Um, some other folks here. Uh, before we do that, just a reminder. I I was I've been saying recently to people. I feel like in the inter, in the in the pandemic age, I have gotten good at talking, which I wasn't good at before, mm-hmm. and telling people to buy things. Yes. And I'm really not proud of either of these skills, and don't really want to be good at either of them. But I'm I'm just going to keep charging along because that's uh, that's how we're all going to get through this, especially musicians. So just a reminder also to, if you like the music of anybody that you hear, I'm putting the links to their music and websites into the chat. Hopefully you can see the chat and um, please go check them out and um, purchase their music. That's a small way that you can um, support live music, which can't be live right now and and keep musicians alive until we can play again. (laughs) So thank you for that. Um, Okay, and I think we're ready to go on to the next set. We are gonna start off here with um, the only person who has led the Mary O's session in real life more times than I have. Did you okay, know that? I did not know that. Um, I think so, at least in modern yeah. modern days. Modern day Mary O's. Modern day Mary right. O's, like past the time when Come From Way started. Right. I think John has led it more than me. So um, this, is, this is starting off with John Redmond here, um, and he's gonna introduce his set. So here we go. Okay. Hi everyone, I hope everybody is doing well and uh, staying safe. And uh, I just realized, my name is John Rodman, by the way. I'm gonna play a few tunes for you in a minute. I just realized that uh, we're into our third uh, season together for this uh, Mario's virtual session. We went through uh, some of spring and then all of summer and now we're autumn time or the fall and uh, yeah so i hope everybody is has picked up plenty of new hobbies and i was just thinking that would make a really interesting theme for one of the sessions uh new hobbies that people have started participating in during this uh pandemic period and i hope everybody's playing lots of music um yeah what's going on here not much um, I do a lot of walking and I realized how the evenings are closing in on us now so fast. It's um, in New York, it's getting dark around 7.15. That's been a big noticeable difference for me. Um, but other than that, you know, some teaching is uh, doing some teaching and uh, playing some tunes out and um, trying to get back to some sort of normality but it's it's uh it's definitely it's going to be the long haul i think so let's all make the uh make the best of it all right i'm going to play three reels lady Anne montgomery in the key of d uh the flogging in the key of g and the black haired glass in the key of a all right stay safe
Thank you. Stay well, stay safe, and we'll see you soon. suppliers out there in internet land. It's Eugene Bender and Shea Coyle back again for another set of tunes. Uh, very glad to be part of this concert series. Always a great time sharing tunes with you guys. Um, the set of tunes that we're going to be playing tonight are uh, dedicated to the late, great Martin Mulhair, a uh, great Irish button accordion player that we very sadly lost within the last week or so. Uh, I knew Martin personally. He was a great guy, one of the last of the true Irish gentlemen of that era of musicians. Uh, just a, very supportive to young musicians and those around him. So a very big loss for the scene. Um, I'm going to turn it over to Shay uh, to describe the tunes that we're going to be playing in this set. Describe them, yeah. So we're going to play one of Martin's most popular uh, compositions, the Golden Keyboard. However, we're going to play it the way that it was actually composed. Um, the way that we assume most people who are watching this are playing it is the version that had a bit of... Uh... The vicissitudes of time. Yeah, right, okay. So it's a bit it's a bit different, but what's beautiful about it is that you guys can play the way you play. You like that one, didn't I you? Was good. Play the way that you guys play, and it would match up almost perfectly with how we we're going to do it. But again, this is just the way that he wrote it, so it would only be fitting to play it as such. And we're going to follow that with two tunes popularized as a set by the Kilfenora Cayley Band, I believe. Uh, Kitty Gone Milking and Music in the Play. Ready. One. Two, three, four. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you. Yo. Dangerous. Ha. Hi, everybody. I'm Mari Black. I bring greetings from Boston, Massachusetts. And I'm Darren Kelly from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, urging everybody to get out and vote and tell your friends and family, do the same. Vote. We're so excited to be here and be a part of this wonderful collaborative evening with Tune Supply. I like to think of this as the concert you can play along with. Because how often have we all been in that position, right? Where we're at a show and the tunes are just so deliciously kicking. You wish you could crack open your case and join in. And tonight you can do just that. So in that spirit, we put together a set that is specifically designed to encourage your joining in. We're going to do a set of slip jigs and then end up in a double jig. Ooh, unusual. Um, but yeah, fun. So we'll start out with one of my favorite slip jigs of all time. I actually just taught this one in my online fiddle seminar this past Tuesday. So there you go. It's Soggies by Shauna Graham, which you should all know because it's amazing. And then we're going to do the humors of whiskey because um, no explanation needed. And then we'll end up in the Butlers of Glen Avenue. So grab your favorite participatory device, instrument, dance shoes, jigging, tapping along, whatever it is you do, swinging a tankard, whatever it is you do. Um, <laughs> join us. Here we go. One, two, three. So great to be here on this star-studded night of Irish trad. 
Thanks so much for having me, Caitlin and Chris. I'm so lucky to be joined tonight by a good old friend of mine, Mr. John Whelan. Hey, John, where are you? What's going on? Oh, I'm hanging out here, Pat. Great to be playing with you. I'm living here on Vashon Island in the state of Washington. All right. So we're going to play a few hornpipes for you now. The first one is an Ed Reavy tune, which he wrote for his wife, Bridget, Bridget of Knock. Uh, we're going to follow it up with one of my old favorites, the Galway Bay, and we'll finish off with the high-level hornpipe. Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> Thank you. 
encore, encore, encore. That was wild. That was absolutely wild. I'm, and you put in the chat, but John uh, learned those tunes to record that set with Pat, right? Yeah. Yeah. Pat set, sent those tunes over, and John yeah. learned them in the last couple of days. Wild. And mm-hmm. it's it, it, perfect to, to the note. Oh, like just to the, the variation even. Uh, yeah. It's incredible. It's incredible. Well done, guys. So cool. Um, I'm glad Pat didn't send me those tunes to learn. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I hope you guys are all having a great time. Um, we have a lot of folks watching, and I, I don't know who everybody is, um, but if you're new to uh this this virtual concert hall um uh, again this is a tune supply production and we hope that um you come to future tune supply productions we have obviously a youtube account yeah with lots of stuff on, on it right now you're on the youtube account <laughs> um and uh we have a facebook and an instagram and um a mailing list actually i was going to mention the mailing list because that is how we keep in touch with people during pandemic time when we can't see everybody at the at the actual session um, so the mailing list link, uh, if you're if you're interested in hearing what's coming up and other uh, uh, shenanigans, there's a lot of shenanigans that yeah. go on. It's and actually, also, it's yeah. mo- sorry to interrupt. Yeah, I was just no, going to say that it's it's mostly shenanigans. That's very this important to say. This is probably the most say. serious that you will ever see us. Yes, we discussed and before is, the concert that we should be serious. Right. So far, we're doing okay. Although avocado is out, this avocado is our has migrated. Um, <laughs> this is our pet dinosaur. Um, Yeah, usually it's a little bit more silly. And in fact, we have some silly things coming up, but I'm going to talk about those later. But for right now, um, what was I going to say? Oh, a serious thing, which is um, we want to say thank you to the community, which is all of you. Um, Without you watching these streams over the last seven months, we would not be here. We might be here, but nobody would be watching. And uh, then we'd just be talking to ourselves. So thank you. (laughs) Which we are talking to ourselves, but people are listening far away. That's true. We are talking to... I don't even notice anymore because this feels normal. strange feels year. feels very weirdly normal. Yes. Anyways, thank you, for, thank you for being a part of this, continuing to be a part of it. And we are um, we have ramped back up this month and we look forward to doing more sh- soon. Um, so um, let's see. Oh, we have the poem. Yes, the poem is coming up. This probably should have a short explanation since we have yes, people who... Yes, we have who... so many people who are probably not session folks. Yeah, because so... this, this is slightly silly, actually. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> so in the, in the real session that happens in the real pub where you can get a real drink, um, we have a poem that's written every week by Miriam Buell, who is the, um, the manager of, of the session, sure. the leader. I don't know what to call her. She, she very kindly and generously took over kind of uh, organizing the session for me when I started doing my Broadway show and um, got too, too, too busy, too much stuff going on. So uh, uh, Mimi writes a poem, usually in her cab ride down to the session. She's really good at poetry and she's really fast. Yep. at writing the poetry and that tradition has continued in virtual land mm-hmm. uh, she writes us a poem every week and we show it on the session and this is not technically a session tonight although i hope some of you are playing but we still have a poem, have a poem anyway and there's dogs okay here we go hi mary host friends i'm here with uh, carson and amos to wish you a happy thursday and to bring you an especially horrible poem uh, but fortunately it's brief uh, we have stars aplenty this chill Thursday night. Their harmonies rich, their melodies bright. How lucky we are to bask in their light. They lift us all up and together take flight. Thank you, Killian and John and Matt and Matt and Pat and Caitlin and Chris and everybody else, Santiago and the, the whole gang, Nanus and everyone, Carson, stay. <laughs> and um, don't stop that. We hope that uh, you are all safe and sound, and please chip into the box if you can to keep us going. Don't forget to vote. I'm a lawyer. I should know. Vote like your life depends on it, because it kind of does. And stay safe. Eat your kibble. Bye. Woohoo! Dogs. Dogs get extra points yes. on the Mario session and always. in the dinosaur household. Too. It's always nice to see Amos and Carson. Yes, and Mimi, of and course. Mimi. Yes. Um, but we're crazed for dogs now. There was a dog running around outside um, our our secret location here in Anchorage, and I I sat with it for like yeah, we had to stop ten to minutes. pet it for ten minutes. Yeah, it's it's an important thing to do. So pet an animal every yes. so often. Uh, okay, so thank you to Mimi for the poem. Mm-hmm. If you come to our Thursday night sessions, you get a poem every week for free. It's it happens whether whether we want it to or not, yes. but we do want it to. <laughs> we do want it to every week. Um, 
I do mean that, Mimi. I uh, that was a silly joke. Yeah. I felt like the, the words just went that direction, and mm -hmm. they didn't need to. Um, okay, so please contribute to the link, which is here today in the middle. I can reach it. Usually, it's on That's top great. of Chris's head, but um, and uh, that is how we pay our. Um, I was going to say our guests and leaders, but tonight there are performers. Uh, here is the actual box that you would put your money in if we were at Mario's and the actual Guinness you would be drinking. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, Mimi playing some tunes with Kevin Crawford. And Kevin's not on the concert tonight, but we should see if we can get him for next time. Yes. That's that would idea. be great. Um, okay. And uh, we are just going to do some shameless uh, merchandise showing right now because... Yep. 2020. Yeah, That's my explanation for everything is 2020. Because everyone needs another t-shirt, right? I don't think so. Mm. But they are nice t-shirts. They're nice, yeah. Um, so we did end up making some merchandise because people were asking for it. That is true. That it is, is not true. a lie. Yep. It was not our idea. People asked us. Yep. And uh, Anna Carlton made our beautiful design, which features uh, what we call the humming burb. Mm -hmm. with the grandma flower so the bird is eating from the grandma flower and we actually have uh one of the t-shirts here i didn't put it on but it looks like this this is the red unisex unisex t-shirt mm -hmm. do you have one down here i do yeah chris has a black one there's two two different um gray. designs and there's tons of colors they're really soft really comfortable they're super super soft we fight over who gets to wear them um and uh in case you don't need a shirt well you probably need a coaster probably need a coaster we have coasters to put on the website. Guinness on to... that you're drinking at the session, obviously. Yes, from 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 Mary. From Mary, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, and then we have two types of stickers. Um, we have regular stickers, which are all, which are great, and yeah. they're vinyl, and they can go in the dishwasher. And we have a few more holographic stickers, which are very silly, which are ridiculous and, and silly, and um, super. I can't look at them because they're so bright. Yes. Um, and the last thing is uh, tomorrow, October 9th, we are putting in the order for sweatshirts. If you want a sweatshirt, please order it today or tomorrow over on the, on the store. These are all the colors and you can have whatever size you want. After the order goes in tomorrow, there will be little to no sweatshirt inventory because they are on the expensive side. Yep. Just generally sweatshirts are, and we um, want you to not buy buying any crap. So we have selected some actually nice sweatshirts. Um, so if you want one, please put in the order today. I, I'm, I sound like a salesperson, but um, it, otherwise you may not get what you want. So there you go. We're going to put the order in tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So make sure you do that over at store.tune.supply. Oh, maybe I should be a radio announcer after this oh, is all done. Yeah. Oh gosh. That'd be very good. <laughs> um, okay, so I think we're, we should have some more music now that, yes. that all the selling has People happened. People have been very patiently waiting for Santiago. Yes, yes, if you're so. here for Santiago, he is in this set. And this yes. is this is actually the third set, third and final set of the evening. Please stay to the end if you want to see some extra little doodads Fun. that we've rigged up for the end. Um, but I did want to say that uh, Santiago... Uh, is in the set along with Isaac Alderson, who's going to start the set off. Both of these guys um, play in uh, different tours of the Broadway show that we play in. It's called Come From Away. And actually, that's how we got hooked up with Santiago is we knew that he was in the uh, Argentin Argentina ver version, yep. right? Did yep. it actually start? I am not sure. Yeah, I think it started and then immediately started stopped. And I'm not sure. Yeah. Anyway, so they're both in this, in, in this show. Isaac's in the touring company. Um, Santiago's in Argentina and we're on the Broadway company. So assuming that happens someday in the future, you should uh, come see the show. But yep. we just don't know at this point what's going to happen. Anyways, right now you can enjoy them here uh, at the concert, at the virtual right. concert. So here we go. Hey there, everybody. It's great to be back here on Tune Supply, especially with my great friend, Mr. Matt Stapleton. Hey there, Matt. Um, thanks, Caitlin and Chris, for having us and for organizing this, as always. Uh, we're going to play a set of three reels, and I'd like to dedicate this to the memory of a very special friend, Keith O'Neill, who passed away five years ago uh, in September of 2015. Keith was uh, an incredible fiddle player, a great friend, uh, a great man, uh, a completely unique individual, and um, somebody that I miss very much to this day. Um, so I'd like to send this one out to him. Um, these are three tunes that I associate with Keith very much. Uh, Matt suggested the first one, actually. It's called The Pride of the Bronx. Uh, and Keith was from the Bronx. Uh, I live in the Bronx, and Matt and I used to share an apartment in the Bronx. So it's very appropriate. So I'm glad he suggested it. 
Uh, and then we're gonna follow that with a tune called Sean Reed's Favorite, which Keith used to play. I associate that with him very much. And then we're gonna finish off with another reel called Sheila Coils, which I learned from Keith that he used to play quite frequently as well. Um, so those of you who knew him know that he liked to play things at a pretty good clip. So we tried to take this one at a lively tempo, which we hope that he would approve of. Um, anyway, so we hope you enjoy. And, um, and Matt, if you want to say anything, now is a great time. Yeah, thanks, Isaac. Uh, a completely unique individual indeed. Uh, and one with a contagious enthusiasm for music for which I'm forever indebted. So thank you, Keith. All right. Well, thanks very much, everyone. And we hope you enjoy. to be part of another Tune Supply concert and I want to say a huge thank you to Chris and to Caitlin for pulling all of this together. I am going to sing two Irish songs that are also jigs so if you don't know the words maybe you can play along at home and I'm thrilled to be joined by Alan Murray today as well. So the two songs I'm going to sing are Cúnla and Thán Cúilach Ig Fogart on Lay. One, two, three, four.
Connolly here in Dublin. Um, delighted to be involved with the Mary O's uh, mini concert. Um, so thanks very much to Caitlin and to Chris for asking me to play. I um, hope everybody is keeping well and uh, not the easiest time with uh, all that's happening with the, the restrictions and COVID and all of that. So we'll uh, anyway, we'll play one. Sure, we have the music in there, it's the main thing. Um, I'm going to play three kind of classic reels anyway. The first one's The May Behind the Bar fairly well known, uh, Coolies, and the last one is the Silver Spear. Um, so I just decided to drop the last tune down a string, just to give it a, to freshen it up a little bit. I find it sort of has a, a deeper, richer sort of sound um, in down in G. So the maybe on the bar, Coolies and Silver Spear. So I hope you enjoy these.
Caitlin, here's a couple of tunes that, you know, I hope that we get to play together in the future. Okay. Sometime. How about now?
and all the Tune Supply community. I'm really, really glad to be here again. I'll be playing a Galician tune with my Galician bagpipes. I'll be playing Muy Nieira de Piadela. And I'm not alone. I'm here with Nicolas Sokolic at the guitar and from Chile, Albert Castillo at the Boron. Hope you like it.
Hi guys, Colin Farrell here. Hello, Dave Curley here. I hope you're all keeping well, and thanks very much to Tune Supply for inviting us to be part of this concert. We're going to try a, a jig and free reels. Mm. The first jig is a, one I wrote a few years ago, and it's named after where my mum's from in County Galway. It's called The Girls of Gralla, and we'll follow that with a, a few reels uh, called The Reel of Rio, Sport in Paddy, and The Boys of Mallon. Three, four. <laughs> Take care, and I'll see you soon. See you again. Woo! <laughs> oh no, our applause button. Yeah, What's we'll going on? Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> Here, how about? How about a, a drum roll? Lovely. 
Oh, a lovely. It was lovely. It was lovely. Yeah. Is that who? It was that TJ. Uh, Brian. Murchison, oh, Brian yeah. Murchison. Yes. Um, wow, our audience has disappeared. <laughs> our, our our fake audience Maybe is I can find gone. It. Oh, that's weird. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I'll talk to these folks Great. while you're yeah. looking for the applause button. <laughs> that's particularly bad. When, oh, there you go. <laughs> when you hit the button for applause and it doesn't doesn't come. Oh, that's I see not why. Good. I was trying. I was chatting to people uh, instead of. You were chatting, you were talking instead of doing your work. Uh. That sounds like me. (laughs) All right. That was amazing. Um, All of that was amazing. Santiago's uh, fans from Argentina, thank you for stopping by. (laughs) Thanks uh, for sticking around to the the bitter end. Is it it an hour later there? Yeah, an hour hour later than New York. Than New York. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you for coming by. We're always glad to um, see you all. And Chris speaks a little Spanish, so he likes to chat to people in the comments in Spanish. Um, That's not me who's doing that. I don't speak much Spanish, (laughs) just a little Russian. Um, Okay, so uh, we are going to play you one more set. Um, We did add some special, um, I would call it silliness, to the end of this concert. Yeah, so stick Um, around. So stick around to the very end. Yeah, and and, um, we're actually going to be like right on time. Right on time. Which never happens. It was because there wasn't very much opportunity for me to talk. Right. That's why. Right. (laughs) But don't worry. (laughs) There's don't, an opportunity now. Don't worry. There's one more opportunity. And I will say um, we have been getting a bunch of contributions. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, I put the link in the chat one more time, and it is down in the description, and it is right there. You can't click on it, unfortunately, but you, you can type it in with your fingers into the keyboard. Mm-hmm. And um, all of that money gets uh, divvied up between all the musicians performing tonight, all 28 of us. Yep. And um, we really appreciate your support. Um, it is weird and strange to be somebody who usually uh, performs on a stage for a big group of people and not be able to do that. And it looks like this will continue for some time. So yep. we really appreciate your um, your being here and, and supporting our efforts and the yep. work of all of these musicians tonight. Um, okay, we're going to play one more set first. Let's, Let's just do, do that okay. uh, before we... Get it we... out of the way, right? Yes, yeah. <laughs> that's true. We were just practicing it. There's a risk <laughs> I may go into the wrong tune at the end. Yep. If that happens, then then that's the right that, tune. The that right becomes tune. the right tune. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But I'm going to try not to do that. This goes out to um, all of the folks who used to come to and play at the O'Neill session, um, especially TJ, because he, he frequently requests um, a, tune, a tune that we're going to end with, or we're going to try to end with, called, um, I think it's called Trip to Air Base. And also to Jimmy O'Kelly. I don't know if he's watching, but... Um, he frequently requests this tune as well. And I'm very sad that O'Neill does, O'Neill's doesn't exist anymore. Yep. Um, so we're going to try to recreate the atmosphere, which is impossible. But we're going to try with this last set here, and we hope you enjoy it.
to tumble here. Avocado. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's okay, avocado. It was a little, a little too bouncy for, <laughs> for avocado. The dancing got out of control. Man, I'm out of practice. Yeah, me too. Oh my goodness. Okay, Ooh. well, we're going to practice before the next concert. <laughs> we'll say that. Um, okay, so um, thank you for sticking around. Uh, if you enjoyed tonight's concert, as you know, throw some dollars in the bucket. You can grab merch over on our store. I'm going to put the link in the comments one more time. Um, more importantly, if you would like to purchase something that helps the community and musicians uh, as a whole, um, we have personalized gift performances over there. Uh, it just costs 32 bucks to get um, any of the artists that were here tonight, almost any of them, yeah. to make you a little personalized video or you can um, have that sent as a gift to your friend. Um, that's actually most of the orders now are gifts to orders yeah. and um, it's pretty cool to see the... Mm -hmm see the things that are coming in and going out to folks. Thanksgiving gift, Halloween gifts. Those Is are Thanksgiving common, right? gift a thing? I don't know. Probably okay. not. <laughs> in America, probably. Yeah. Um, yes, holiday, the holidays are coming up and we can do holiday orders for you. Birthdays. Yeah. And it's not, it's not us who does them, by the way, because you've seen enough of us. Yes. It's, um, there's actually 71 now artists it's, on the Tune Supply roster. It's the people who actually know what they're doing. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, and then we do have more uh, Tune Supply stuff coming up. This uh, time slot is usually the session, and it will continue to be the session um, after tonight. Uh, we are doing our C tires number four and five. That's common tunes at a reasonable speed, which we were mm -hmm. not doing tonight. As Will Cushing said, some people were doing esoteric tunes at an unreasonable speed. Something is that like what he that, said? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll be back to playing our regular tunes next week that you can join in on. Um, same time, same place. And then we are excited to announce that we are going to try, and I think we're going to succeed, at bringing the sixth annual Mario's Dress as a Tune Halloween session online. I have not fully figured out the logistics of this, but it's no. going to happen. But we will. Once we say it's going to happen, it's going to happen. Yes, so, we've just announced it, so it's happening. It's happening. Yes. So start thinking of a, of a costume that you can make if you're a tune player, um, dressing as a tune. This is an epic event at the Real Mario's. Um, the last five years, and yep. we're going to try to we're going to try to do it online too. We have, we made a silly poster. Yep. Um, it looks like there this. It is. And I think it's the sixth. If somebody knows differently, it might be the seventh, but it's it's. there's been a lot of them. Six sounds correct to me, but I yeah. wouldn't really know. So that's on the 29th um, of October, which is the closest Thursday to yes. Halloween. Um, I think that's it. So, yeah, uh, we're going to say thank you, of course, to yeah. the 28 artists. Yes, too many to list. Do you, you, I think you're the one who has to list on I can read them off. I, can, I do have a cheat sheet. Um, <laughs> But I won't, I'll spare you that, but thanks, uh, seriously, thanks to all our performers for um, lending us your, your tunes and your talents, and we're grateful to work with all of you. And thank you to everyone for your contributions that allow this to even happen in the first place. Yes, um, and on the note of, of thanking artists, uh, it is scary. I know this as an artist myself, sending somebody your, your music, your yes. file, and there you don't you know what they're going to do with it, and yeah. you don't know how it's going to look when it goes out. So um, I thank you to everybody for trusting us with your work. And um, we are always open to suggestions. If we didn't yep. do it like you want it, just, just, just tell us. But um, we really appreciate you trusting us with with um with your baby yep. your your art form um thank you to the mary o's uh executive board what that's what i call them yes. especially to uh mimi our resident poet and uh manager and i she's just extraordinary at everything mm -hmm. i don't even know how to describe her and bob of course i feel the same way about yes. i don't know if he's here but bob uh, thanks for everything and mary of course I always think Mary because despite not being in the real pub, we are in Mario's virtual pub right now. And um, we are always thinking of her. Go buy some scones from her if you can and uh, or stop by and have a drink. Yeah. Okay, I'm rambling now. So I that means it's it time to go. Us. Yeah. Yes. So... Okay, so stick around for the end credits here and uh, we'll see you soon. All right. Bye. Good night. <laughs>